All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Bendix. We're going to talk about some air chambers a little bit. Um, there's not a whole lot to them, but there is some inspection things you need to do while you're underneath your truck doing your maintenance. So as you can see, this is a new chamber, all right? So in the new chamber business, the best thing you need to do when you're doing PMs is make sure that you grease and lube your clevis pins, because if they seize up, your brake won't adjust properly, all right? The other thing you're looking for is any kind of damage or anything, corrosion on your cans, any kind of corrosion around any of the clamps that are holding it together. I've seen some power springs where they're starting to come out the side of the uh, cover. So, I mean, obviously that's a CSA out of service um, part. So you just got to make sure visually everything else is all good. The other thing too you're looking for is if you don't have any damage in your cover, but you think you got a broken power spring. So a broken power spring, when you release the brakes, a couple things you can do. When you release the brakes, you look at the slack adjuster position. Okay, or when you apply the brakes, you look at the slack adjuster position. So when you apply the brakes, you got one slack adjuster extended all the way out. The other one only may be halfway extended. If it's only halfway extended, that means the spring is broken because right, it can't extend out completely. So if you look at a spring, a broken power spring, together it looks like this. When it breaks, it looks like this. So you're not gonna get full stroke on this push rod to extend out. So that's one way of looking at to see if you got broken power springs. The other way you can look at it is by pounding on the spring on the chamber itself. So here we have a chamber that we actually have a broken power spring in here. With it mounted on the truck, if you hammer on the edge of the can, you can hear that spring rattle in there. Okay? So if you if you hear it rattling, I'll guarantee you that push rod isn't extended out either. So if you look at this, this push rod isn't extended all the way out because the spring can't push it out and it's broken. You can also look internal, and if you look internal, you can see where the caging bolt plate is. It doesn't line up with a hole, okay? So if it doesn't line up with a hole, you're gonna have a hard time putting your caging bolt in there because you can't get it in there. That's gonna tell you also that your spring's probably broken, okay? So that's a couple different things that you need to do during your PMs when you're looking at uh, your brake chambers or just doing a PM on your, on your unit. So we want to make sure that we have clevis pins are greased because if they seize up, now the slack adjuster can't adjust properly. Okay? Give the can a little pop, make sure that the parking brakes are released, give the can a little part, pop. If parking brakes aren't released, you still should hear this thing rattle. Look in the hole, all right? It's always a good idea to make sure that if you look in the hole, just to take a look at that plate. The other thing you gotta make sure while you're doing your underneath that your rubber cap is on. I see a lot of them running down the road that look like this. They look like this, what's going inside here? Everything on the road. If you're up in the north or in the east, especially now, you're getting packed full of snow, road salt. All that's contamination inside, okay? So this is a chamber that's vented it gets enough debris and stuff coming in through the vents, but we need vented chambers. The reason why is as you apply and release the parking brake, there's air in there and it needs to be able to escape. So that's the reason why for the vents, that and getting rid of moisture or any contamination. Okay? We have a chamber here. This is a non-vented chamber. This is a totally enclosed. There's no holes, no venting holes in the parking brake side. There is on the service side. So the reason why we have this is to keep from corrosion and stuff being built up in here. This cap on our chamber is a vent. As the brake applies and releases, air is pushed through here and then it seals back up. So it's a one-way check valve. When you're done with this, you can also pull this cap off and cage it like you do a normal brake. Okay, so you can put the caging bolt in there and cage it like a normal brake. When you're done with it, put your caging bolt back into the chamber, screw your cap back on, torque it down to the spec. So we have a torque spec for this because we have a rubber seal on here. We want to make sure that there's no liquid that gets in there. So again, chambers are simple animals. It's just they've got to make sure that they're working properly. And to make sure that they're working properly is make sure you don't have a broken spring. Make sure you have no damage because that's a CSA violation, right? You don't want them. You don't want that officer to give you tickets. 
So again, just in recap, what we need to do is make sure that our springs aren't, aren't broken and you can do that by pounding on it. You can also do that at, look to see when they're parked, where the slack adjusters, if they're equal, they should be good. If they're not, then you know one of them's got a broken spring. The other thing you wanna make sure is your vent, your plugs are always covering up your hole. All right, your inspection hole, always wanna make sure that's done. You can also look in the inspection hole and the plate in there. If that spring is broken like this one here, you can see the plate doesn't line up. So you're gonna have a hard time, it probably won't be able to get a caging bolt in there. Okay? Thank you very much.